Of all the things that are special about Daniel Hertz, the most special to me is the ability of our new technology to bring all content to life. What I mean by that is, audio systems do not reproduce music. They reproduce recordings of music. And recordings exist in various forms and formats, right? There's LPs, there's CDs, there's downloads and streaming. Uh, there's all kinds of different content. Now, if you ask somebody who knows a lot about audio, what the holy grail is, that person might say, the high-speed analog tape. If you can listen to a master tape, the original analog high-speed tape, that's the ultimate. It's almost impossible to copy. You can make a copy, but it doesn't sound like the original, okay? The original analog tape is sort of the holy grail. Now, I've made about 500 analog master tapes in my life, and I could never give them to anybody because if you copy them, it doesn't sound the same. Something changes. <clears throat> okay. So my dream was to be able to make the content that we have, the recordings that we can get, sound like original, high-speed, pure analog master tapes. And that's what Daniel Hertz does. Now, I know you might say, can't be possible. It's just some kind of a marketing thing, but it's not. It's true. Imagine listening to classical Indian music on YouTube. And Indian music is really rough to reproduce. Lots of high-frequency harmonics and very delicate. And it really sounds like a 30 IPS analog master tape, but it's true. That's the key. All the rest of it is nice, but the magic is that you can listen to anything. I mean, anything, a CD, a download, streaming. Uh, you can listen to pure analog LPs. You can listen to digitally mastered LPs, okay? Just about anything. And a Daniel Hurt system will bring it to life. That's what nobody can do except Daniel Hertz. Now, why can Daniel Hertz do that? Because we've spent 30 years finding out what digital is and is not. <clears throat> when digital first came out in 1978 or so, a lot of people were shocked. I was one of them. What is this? There's something wrong with this. It can't be right. <clears throat> but everybody said, no, it's perfect. Oh, it measures flat, you know, no distortion. It's perfect. Sure. And now today, what's happened? The LP is back. People love analog. Digital is disappointing. Why would anybody pay a lot of money for an audio system that's going to reproduce digital content? It's not fun. It doesn't sound right. It doesn't feel right. Okay, it's impressive for a minute, but you know, you're gonna turn it off. <clears throat> it's not like pure analog, but Daniel Hertz is. That's the thing. If you have a Daniel Hertz system, it's like listening to pure analog master tapes. I'll give, let, let me show you something. <clears throat> this is an Uhr uh, portable recorder that used five inch reels. This was my first tape recorder. And some of the recordings that are most important to me personally, I made with that machine. Recordings of uh, the Paul Blay Trio when I was playing bass for Paul Blay for four years. <clears throat> um, I made with this thing. Recordings of Ali Akbar Khan and Nikhil Banerjee, I made with this. And they're still amazing recordings, you know? This is the Stellavox. I used the Stellavox SP7 to record the first audiophile LP. Uh, it was the Schubler Chorales. I recorded that in 1972. It sold 10,000 copies. That was the first audiophile LP. It started the whole audiophile um, recording business. I recorded on this thing. Uh, five inch reels and with the adapters you could take the, the 10 inch reels. Okay, And this is the Studer A80. The Studer A80 was um, or is one of the finest tape recorders ever made and it works perfectly at 30 inches per second which is a great thing. And um, uh, we made special electronics 
at Mark Levinson, Audio Systems for the Studer A80. And, you know, that that is really recording. I mean, that's something special. And everybody knows that. You know, who, well, everybody who knows about this kind of recording knows how good that is. Now, nobody is going to tell you that you can have that sound from digital content. But now you can. And that's the most important thing that Daniel Hertz has to offer.